In this video, I'd like to have a look at the spring cleanup of hellebores. They're a little different than a lot of other perennials, and you do have to be a little more careful when you're cleaning these up. So in this video, I'm going to have a look at the common hellebore, and I'm also going to have a look at three other species, because they're all treated a little differently, and it's worth having a look at the differences between them. This is the common garden hellebore, and it's based on the species called Orientalis, and some people will call this Orientalis, but by now most of these plants that you find in gardens have been crossed with a couple different species, so they're really garden varieties now, not really species. What you see when you look at these plants in early spring depends very much on your climate. Now I'm in zone 5, and you'll see that many of these leaves are quite brown. Okay, we call this evergreen, but in zone five, they're, they're barely evergreen. If I reach under here, this leaf is still pretty green, but it was, it was probably covered by this one, and so it was protected from the cold. So it really depends on the kind of winter we have. If we have a cold winter, I get more brown leaves. If we have a mild winter, I have more green leaves. In areas that have a lot of snow cover, they're also green. Now, if we look at how this plant grows, these are all last year's leaves, and they're not going to continue growing. So even the green ones are pretty much finished. It's going to start growing from the center, make flowers and new leaves. You have two options. You can leave these leaves. The plant really doesn't care. After all, in nature, nobody comes to clean it up. But from an aesthetic point of view, it's usually better to clean these up. The problem we have is that if you come and just cut everything to the ground, you're probably going to damage the flower bud. So you need to do it a little more carefully. What I like to do is clean up the plant a little bit. Get rid of some of these leaves. Just so I can see what I'm doing. And as soon as I do that, I can see the new buds coming here. So this is where all the flowers are going to be. And as we cut this back, we have to be careful not to damage these. So get your secateurs and gently cut the leaves back. And there you are. Now you can leave these in the garden if you like, or you can take them to a compost pile. This is now finished for the year. That's all the maintenance you have to do all year long for this plant. They will flower and you can leave the flowers on. You don't have to cut the stems off. Some of these will make flowers first and then the leaves come up. Others will kind of make the flower stem and then as it's opening also form leaves. So each of these is a little different. Can't wait to see the flowers again. Here's a picture of what they looked like last year. Now we've got a number of plants together here. This is a, a normal hellebore, the Orientalis. But here we have a species hellebore. And you can see that the leaves are quite different. They're serrated along the edge and the shape is quite different. Now, our Goodifolia is really a zone 6 plant, and I'm in zone 5, so it does tend to die back a little bit. If you're in a slightly warmer climate, these should be quite green, and you can just leave the whole plant. But in this case, these stems are quite soft. There are flower buds right in here, but they're soft and mushy, and that's what happens in a colder climate. So they're not going to do anything. So in this case, I look at the plant and I let the plant tell me how to prune it. This upper part is pretty much gone. So I'm going to trim it right back. This here is one of my favorite hellebores. It's called the stinking hellebore, or hellebore phytitis. The reason I like it is that it's evergreen all year long. 
it doesn't look like much now, but it still has green leaves. And as soon as it warms up here, this plant will be looking really good. It's such a great plant that I featured it in a number of videos. The plant itself is quite hardy in zone five, and the leaves are mostly evergreen in zone five. So you see this plant all winter long, unless it's covered with snow. The buds, on the other hand, are really not zone five hardy. So when we have a mild winter, you'll get buds on here and they'll flower. If we have a colder winter, they usually get damaged. Looking at this plant, we have kind of a combination. So I have some here that are damaged, and I have some others here that are quite green and they'll flower. I prune this hellebore quite differently than the other one. Let's have a closer look. With this plant, it's really important to have a close look at it and, and not just go cutting things. So if we have a look at this part here. You see that this part is quite brown. This is the old flower bud and the flower buds are made in fall and then open in the spring. But from experience, I know once it looks like this, this flower bud is damaged. It's not going to flower. So I can cut it off. The leaves here are still green, so if I cut it at the top here, I'll keep all of these leaves and they'll keep growing. Right beside it is another stem, and actually two stems. This is a shorter one and it doesn't look like it made a flower bud last year. But this one over here does have a flower bud. And you can tell because the top leaves here are quite different in shape. And you can actually open it up if you want. And Inside here are little buds. And they still look green. So usually when you get a green head like this, they will open. So I'm going to leave this one. Over here is another one that's quite mushy and brown. So we'll get rid of that. These all look good over here, so we'll just leave that. I'm not going to do any pruning there. Now because this is an evergreen hellebore, there is no need to cut it to the ground. Now you could do that if you prefer, and it will just regrow. But if you leave this, you'll end up with a larger plant this summer. So I typically leave it. There's an old stem that probably should have been cut out last year. So I'll cut it out. There's a really old one. We'll get rid of that one. But anything that looks healthy and green, I leave. The ones back here, they're all mushy too. And in fact, in fact, when I have a look at this, they're almost all mushy, but there's new growth at the bottom here. So we'll cut these back. Treat them more like a traditional hellebore. And we'll have a nice growth back here. Now the other thing I found with Photitis is that after about three or four years, the plant dies. But by then you have little baby plants around it. Later on in spring, have a look around the mother plant and you'll see babies. You can dig those up and transplant them somewhere else. For instance, there's one right back here. There's another one right here. This here is a baby plant that's a little larger now. It is a seedling from the mother plant here. So even these are kind of short-lived. I've never lost them. There's always new babies coming underneath. So this is the last hellebore I'm going to show you. It is a species, and for some reason I've lost the tag on it. So I'll have to look up the plant. If I can figure out the right name, I'll put it on the screen. The leaves on this hellebore are shaped a little differently. And it flowers really early. It's now the 1st of April, and this flower was starting to open a month ago. But then we got a really cold spell for about two weeks. And if we have a close look at the petals, you can see they're kind of brown. So they've been partially damaged, but they still will open up. So I treat this one just like the common hellebore. Leave the flowers and cut off the stems.
Now it's ready to make a really nice display in the garden. So that's all there is to cleaning up hellebores in the spring. It's pretty easy. The main thing you have to watch is that you don't cut off those flowers. Are you interested in getting some free hellebores? Well, I made a separate video to show you where you'll probably find some free seedlings. And I'll put a link to that right here. Happy gardening.